Hi everyone, Antoinette here. Today I'm going to talk about five body language signs, those nonverbal cues that someone may be uncomfortable when you're having a conversation with them. Now the thing to be aware of is you don't want to just jump to conclusions. You don't want to say, oh, I saw one of these signs, therefore the person must be uncomfortable. That's like saying if someone briefly coughs once that they're sick. So it is not always what it seems. However, this is meant for you to start paying attention and looking for those signs, especially if they come right after you say something or they come in clusters for you to be able to know, hey, I perhaps need to back off or perhaps need to change the subject. Also keep in mind that for some people, particularly shy people or people who are introverted, they take longer to warm up to people. So it may not be anything having to do with your making them uncomfortable by who you are or what you're talking about. It could be that they just don't know you well enough yet. So remember to take that into consideration. Okay, the first sign that someone may be uncomfortable either in the conversation or with the topic of discussion is when all at once they start using some self-soothing gestures. They're starting to rub their face or rub their neck or even the back of their neck. These are all self-soothing gestures that people can do when they feel sometimes anxious or uncomfortable. You don't want to just look at one gesture because maybe their nose itches. Maybe they've got an itch on the back of their neck. So you don't want to just take one gesture and make a conclusion about that because that can be false. You want to start looking for clusters. People usually use these self-soothing gestures when they are uncomfortable or nervous about something. Mine is the neck. My husband has to tell me sometimes, he says, you're rubbing your neck a lot. There are certain situations when I have no idea that I'm actually doing it. For some people, the self-soothing is scratching, actually maybe even scratching their arms or doing what's called thigh cleansing, which is when someone rubs their hands all the way down their thighs. And, and that is a gesture that signifies that someone is anxious or stressed about something. The second gesture that someone is uncomfortable or anxious or disapproving of something is when they hide their lips. This is what this looks like. They're making an expression and they are, their lips are hiding or disappearing. Although at first it can look like a smile, hiding lips is not a smile. Another sign that someone may be uncomfortable is when they actually turn their torso away. So if in a situation you are facing the other person and all at once that person starts turning their torso away, it could be that they're uncomfortable. It may also be that they're trying to leave the conversation and that's the reason why they're turning their torso away. The next nonverbal sign is when someone starts looking away, maybe their eyes start darting around rather than them having focused eye contact with you and what you're saying. If their eyes start darting around, then basically they're sending the signal that although they are with you, they're trying to send the message that they are elsewhere with their eyes. And as we know, our eyes are a huge way that we communicate with people. So when somebody starts either looking down or around, then either they're uncomfortable with the conversation or with the topic of conversation, or once again, they're trying to end the conversation. And next, someone may be uncomfortable in a conversation with you if they keep objects between you and them. Maybe they're holding something in their arms and they keep it between you and versus just move it to one arm so that it's not between you and them. And sometimes it's not an object, but it's their arms. They're either keeping their arms crossed like this or sometimes just using one arm. That can be a sign that someone is guarded.
So here's the word of caution. Don't get hyper-focused on body language that you actually miss really connecting with the other person and trying to listen to them intently and really connect with them as a person because you're so busy looking for clues. However, use this to your advantage to once you start seeing some clusters, maybe you brought up a subject or maybe you've, you're just noticing these clusters in general, then use that to just take a step back, either change the subject, give the person some space or end the conversation. Remember, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's something wrong with you. It could be that the person just hasn't warmed up yet. If you have liked this video, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel.